hi again. My camera's gone wonky. It's not hi again. It's hi again for the first time. I haven't been keeping up with my postings to YouTube as or whatever they call them, uploads, whatever. Because to be honest with you, since before I left for my mother's funeral back in July, I have been, I have been out of sorts most days. And uh, by the time I get enough energy worked up to do anything online, it's almost always just a little chatting I do with friends and some emails. But today, I am on my. This is. I just finished my first week of the new treatment of gemcitabine and cisplatin. This past Monday, I just had this cisplatin. This gemcitabine. I'm sorry. And even though I was sick for the whole weekend, last weekend, today and yesterday, I have had none of that chronic persistent pain in my left leg. I have not had to take an extra pain pill for anything, and it's been marvelous. And I can't tell you. I even went out for a while and did some walking in the heat. Not a lot of walking, mostly driving, but a lot of walking in the heat. As you know, I, I have a football here. This is a, an American football. Uh, we play with bigger balls in Canada. That's the motto. And uh, But it represents football. So I have a football with me. I wanted to show you a few things. This is an autographed football. From, I think you can see it, I might have shown it to you before, from Russ Jackson, who was my first hero when I was 10 or 11 years old. He was the last Canadian to start a, a game at quarterback in the CFL in the Canadian Football League. And uh, he won the Grey Cup for the uh, Ottawa Rough Riders. I think it was 1969. And I remember seeing him hold it up over his head, you know. And he was my, uh, he, I fell in love with football, and uh, he was my first. I've had heroes since, but, you know, your first one, right? Your first true hero. I also wanted to show you some of the drugs I'm taking on a daily basis. Some I, uh, most of them I will be, uh, I will continue taking. Uh, uh, after this chemo, I mean, you get you get have to take different drugs for different days after the chemo, and but most of them, most of them are just are drugs that I take every day. But there's three or four there that I, I take as required. And uh, like the this is the this is the breakthrough morphine. I haven't had to take any any of that, and uh, so lately. So I uh, anyway. I just wanted to say hi to everybody who hasn't heard from me and about who does care for me uh, or who drinks. <laughs> I think I'm a little jacked up and excited today. I've been eating pizza. I had grapes and a Caesar salad for breakfast. I had pizza for lunch and dinner yesterday. I had grapes for breakfast yesterday. I'm eating, I'm eating supplements. Uh, hemp seed oil and uh, linseed oil, but they want you to call it flax seed oil, and cod liver oil, and I'm taking a vitamin B with mineral supplements. It's a vitamin B complex with mineral supplements. So I'm doing my part. Got my cancer boy, got my cancer boy shirt on and my Canada hat. There's a cat over there, but I'm not gonna turn the camera. My camera, as I said, has been wonky, and I'm not going to fuss around with it. Uh, hi, Jesse Doria. Hi, hi, Holly. Holly, I'm so sorry I haven't been keeping up to date and posting any com comments on your videos, but literally, darling, I have been not. I have not been doing much of anything lately. It really has been very fatiguing for me to sit up for any, you know, sit straight up for any length of time. But uh, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to uh, get to Ontario to see my friend Russ Jackson again before uh, this uh, in September. But I might have to move my treatment back a week so that it would allow me the travel time and, uh, and the spending time and re you know recuperating from rating from travel time between treatments. We'll see how it goes. 
anyhow, so I just, and uh, I, I wanted to say hi to Ellie and Lenny and uh, Harry, Lloydy. You should tell your brother to call me. If he wants to come watch a football game, he should call me. I'm not going to invite him. He knows I'm home. He knows I have the TV and the cable television connection. So if he wants to come over here and watch a football game at my house, he should come over. He should call me anytime. It's a lot easier for him to call me. Than it is. Anyway, Lloyd. And uh, I wanted to say special highs to Betty. She won't watch this, but Betty's been such a, a, a power weight lately, and especially lately. And uh, she's been she's been a great source of energy and strength to me. I thank God for her, and I I thank uh, I thank God for a lot of stuff, but I especially thank God for Betty. And uh, I wanted to say hi to Susan because I haven't I haven't seen Susan in well over a week or going on two weeks. I think it, I think it works out to eleven days. Before I, from the last time I see her to the, the nearest opportunity, I might see her again. And she doesn't like to hear this, but it just, <laughs> it just breaks my heart. Oh, oh well, I can live through it. I got through worse than that. <laughs> Anyhow, so hi, Susan. You know I love you, right? And, uh, is there anybody I miss? I want to say to Patsy Ann Kitchen and her mother who treated us, Betty and I, so well when we were in McCad and how comfortable we were. And uh, I want to say hi to all the, all the aunts that were there and everybody that participated. It made it very easy for me to to get through it. Uh, I was I I don't want to uh, bemoan it, but I was in an awful lot of pain, and they they helped. They helped and did a, a stellar job, so I want to say a thank you to them. Anyhow, that's stuff me rambling on. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Got the teeth in and everything, as you can see. So uh, take care, people. Please watch out for cars. God loves you a lot. I love you all a lot. You all mean so much to me. Please take care, watch out for cars, and you know I love you, right?